Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today in this video, I'm gonna show, how to mount EFI partition on macOS Sequoia Beta 5. So before starting, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, then please go and subscribe to our channel and stay connected for the latest updates. So without a further ado, let's get started. Recently, Apple announced macOS Sequoia Developer Beta 5 and since the release of Beta 5, 24 of 5309E, there's a known problem with mounting the EFI partition. Normally, as you would mount the EFI partition on macOS using several tools or tool-free method. Currently, no other tools like OpenCore Configurator or OCAT is able to mount the EFI partition on macOS Sequoia Developer Beta 5. We are not sure whether this is a new bug in the developer release or some kind of limitation introduced by Apple and if it's intentional to prevent access to ESP for security purposes. As a result, now mounting the EFI partition involves a few extra steps. The process is similar to Linux distributions. The problem is not only with the internal disks but external disks as well. However, for external disks such as USB flash drives, you can mount the EFI partition normally using any of the tools as described in this guide and can directly edit the config.plist but you won't be able to change any contents of the EFI partition for the external disks too. To mount the EFI partition, open terminal, and then execute the following command. This will list all the connected drives on the system. Now, find the EFI partition and note down the disk identifier which you want to mount. A very quick way to determine the disk identifier is by finding the EFI type. Generally, you will see EFI EFI and look for the correct volume name. In our case, we have a single boot disk. Therefore only one EFI partition exists on the entire machine. On the boot disk, the EFI partition is disk 0s1. Disk 0s1 is what we're going to mount in this guide. Yours could be different from ours. Once you locate the EFI type, just check for the identifier. Ensure all programs are closed and you have not mounted the EFI partition using any tool. If already mounted, unmount the EFI partition using the same tool. Now create a mount point by executing the following command. When prompted, enter your password. Now, mount the EFI partition using the syntax. And now, the EFI partition can be now directly accessed either from the desktop or from the finder as usual. To unmount the EFI partition, there's no need to use any command, or syntax. Just right click on the partition, and eject it as usual. So that was it. Hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.